So here we go then, missing Volvo for a change. <laughs> so in this video, we're actually going to do a little bit of exploring around the Eiffel and surrounding areas in southwest Germany. And uh, yeah, do a bit of house hunting, do a bit of exploring and see what we can find. Um, we're walking around now, but we'll jump in the Volvo in a bit and uh, go for a drive and uh, yeah, see what we can see. That bonnet is the length of a small European car. Is it nice? A sheep. A sheep. A wet sheep. A wet sheep. A sheep. It's so soft. Yeah. Oh. Look at that for an interior. And we think the old Volvos are nice. Yeah, all the windows are smashed. Do you reckon the teenagers have broke into it and have been hanging out? Probably. Partying in the limo. <laughs> what a lovely car. Just an abandoned lot. How much would it be worth? How much would it be worth? What, as it is? Yeah. Not much. Not that much. What? Yeah. What, you want to buy it? No, it's, uh, it's way more hassle than you want to get involved with. But it is cool. But I think I'm going to stick to the Volvos. So here's one of the houses that actually looked way better in the pictures than... Uh, in reality, like on the pictures, it was like it looks super rural, but it's kind of built up around here and lots of flats, which means lots of people. Yeah, it's all a bit open feeling, isn't it? It feels like a communal house. Not so private garden. How long do hedges take to grow? Too long. Too long. You knew? <laughs> I saw it yesterday. It was like a... I've already been caught by a speed camera. As soon as I got here, bang, straight away, it nearly blinded me, the, the red flash. So that'll be a huge find coming in the mail straight away. It's a nice start to a new chapter in Germany. It's like a welcome back present from welcome, Germany. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, that's for leaving. <laughs> Gosh. Got you in the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got to give this thing a go over because she's disgusting. And I just feel icky driving it around with with it covered in salt like you can just feel it just eating everything we'll just make it look a little bit nicer as well we don't want to turn up to these houses looking uh looking disgusting we want to show that we can take care of things so yeah we'll give it a go over yeah one thing i do need to get on is this it's not from the inside it is from the outside it seems like just where this seal rubs also, there's some stuff caught in there and it's just, once that paint gets disturbed and cracked, it doesn't take long for the problems to start, so... Gonna need to jump on that, but... Yeah. Got rid of the salt at least, gave it a, a quick go underneath as well and I saw a lot of grit and a lot of stuff fall out, so... Yeah, I can't wait till the spring, get it up on axle stands, get the wheels off, get underneath it and really go over it. And get rid of all the nasty stuff. So now we're actually closer to the uh, Dutch border. Before we were near the Netherlands border, near, in the Eiffel. Now we're north somewhere, I don't know where. But near the Dutch border, isn't it? Near the Netherlands. Yeah. Ish. Ish. More north. West of the Netherlands border. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's only now we see our first classic Volvo. So um, apart from our own very beautiful classic Volvo. So yeah, it's a good sign. So yeah, we're still house hunting. We've seen a couple of places already a couple more to see but ultimately we still don't know where in the country we're going to end up so but yeah the search continues
so here we go then another day and today we're off to Munchengladbach a little town not far from the Dutch border oh, I can't see anything yeah there's been a development actually and although this is a problem when you say things in videos before they actually are definite it's not really a good idea because I did say that we'd almost definitely be on the in West Germany near the border with uh, the Netherlands and Belgium well one of one or the two could be both but it could be but anyway it's probably not going to be either of those well we don't know yet we don't know it could be Bavaria um, I would say by the end of this video we're going to know we're probably going to know one way or another I would like to skip forward so that I know what like, what do you mean? Well, by the end of the video, we, we will know. I would like now to skip forward the video. What, like jump forward and then jump back? Yeah. Like, if I could. Oh, you want to see the end of the video? Yeah. Oh, I see. No, you can't do that. Someone's cooking. Man, well, they're cooking. It smells a bit weird. Why is that plain van playing an ice cream tune? <laughs> you wouldn't trust your kids to go to, to get an ice cream from him, would you? Plain van with black out side windows. <laughs> We're not moving here. Do you want to go to Vegas World? <laughs> yes, please. Looks good, doesn't it? Imagine that for a number plate. STD. STD. What does it say? Sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> oh, you know it's a region. Yeah. So all the cars from that. I've region. got an STD. <laughs> we don't want to go there, do we? <laughs> and that one's D. D U H. I guess that one's intentional. Probably. Yeah. An Audi with a private plate. Never seen that before. There, isn't it? That's it, yeah. No animals at this side. Ooh, a nice big German flag as well, and big angry German shepherd. Mm. Oh, we did want a shepherd, didn't we? We did, yeah. So, Miss Involvo has gone inside to the house behind us to talk to the actual owner. We just went to the house and just spoke with the, the tenants that are in there at the moment. And there's a lot of cons, there's obviously quite a few pros but ultimately there's basically no internet there miss involvo with the work she does she'll absolutely need to work from home and we'll need a good internet connection so and it really is here there's like like a dial-up modem and it's like you're not getting anything done you can't actually do much with it at all uh yeah we, we a lot of us remember those days don't we of dial-up and, and that sort of era so this area it, it is on the list to get broadband at some point within the year but yeah, that doesn't really help us now, so. So guys, here we go. So we've met up with Paul from Horsepower Dash Camp. This is part of our sort of house hunting road trip. 
He's uh, he's got a contact and he's got a place for us to view. So we're actually gonna we've met him now in uh, Wuppertal. Am I saying that right, Mr. Volvo? Wuppertal. Wuppertal. Yeah. So we had a little go on the uh, Schwebebahn, which is the translates to the hover train. Mm -hmm. It's the only one in the world and apparently the, the safest mode of transport in the world as well. So yeah, that was it. That was fun. Bit, trippy bit sketchy <laughs> prefer to travel in the volvo i think definitely yeah but yeah and then we went over to his shop where actually he's well that's actually where one of our volvos is going to be kept for some weeks hopefully not months depends how things go um yeah whilst i'm bringing them over and we're, we're getting ourselves sorted um we've got too many cars and not enough spaces so yeah it's a bit of a first world problem to have but <laughs> Yeah, luckily Paul has offered to babysit at least one of the Volvos inside his workshop with his 240. A very nice early uh, coffin nose 240. So yeah, we had a look around there. I'm very jealous of his workshop. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to get something like that on the channel sooner rather than later. Yeah, so this is what we need on the channel. Somewhere like this. You've even got like the full workbench and everything. Yeah, it's it's oh, so nice. That's my brown gearbox. <laughs> which which blue? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it should be the teeth should be as far out as here all the way and it just oh, wow. shaved completely off. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> And then I only had fourth gear, so basically straight through. Yeah, like yeah. This. But yeah, so now uh, we're we're doing a, a a little convoy down a few hours south, and uh, yeah, we'll stop in at some point and have a better look at his 940 as well. This car is actually 406 paint code, dark metallic blue. Same as that car. And same as this car by the looks of it. And almost the dustbin as yeah. well. <laughs> I keep telling them I keep telling him that he needs to put some blacking on these bumpers. Optional extra wood trim, aftermarket installation, I think. It's nice, mate, with a good polish. You come up all right? Yeah. There's another one, dark yeah. metallic blue. Might have to make a, a start on that bottle of vodka later, I think. The night is still young. We're the only ones in here. Bit weird. So here we go then, we're in Bavaria and now we're really close to the house where well another house that we need to view 
a house where we may be living. Yeah. It's the last last stop. This is the last one to look at. It's been a long journey. We'll head there now. We're only a few minutes away, and we'll see how it looks. Pretty exciting. Yeah.